Hey friends, welcome to Discovery Kids Online. Today is all about promises. Okay, so when we make promises, we should try really hard to keep our promises, right? You know, do what we say we're going to do. But oftentimes, well, we break our promises. Yeah, that's true. But who can we rely on 100% of the time to always, 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 always keep his promises? God. God! Right! Okay, so let's take a look at just a few of the promises God made. Okay. God made two promises to Noah. He promised to keep Noah and everyone in the ark safe, which he did, and he promised he would never send a flood like that again, and even put a rainbow in the sky to seal the deal. And guess what? We've never had a flood like that since. God made three promises to Abraham, a huge family, the, the Israelites, Israelites, land, the, the promised land, land, and a very special blessing for the whole world, Jesus. Jesus. And God kept all of those promises to Abraham. Our story today, we're going to see David have some promises. Let's see if he keeps them. What is a promise? A promise is a declaration of something that will be. An expressed assurance. Okay, yeah, Tracy, you still haven't got me those puppets. You know, oh, I need those. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get them for you tomorrow. Oh, okay. I promise. Okay, got it. I promise. A promise is a sacred bond. You know, I haven't heard that new worship song yet. Oh, you are so gonna love it. I promise. <laughs> it's a pledge, an agreement, a covenant. Hey, hey guys, uh, announcement here. We are officially out of coffee, what? and the no. coffee machine oh, is broken. Oh, no. I know, I got the last one. But hey, guys, <sighs> I promise I will fix it as soon as I can. I'm going to put this yeah. That's really? it. All of you up here now. What? Yeah. What's what? What? You people toss out promises willy-nilly all over the place. A promise is special. It's an agreement. A promise, after all, is a promise. So Do you understand? We're sorry. We're oh, so yeah. sorry. We'll do better. Yeah, yeah we, we will. will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we, we promise. Oh. What? We promised we wouldn't do it. I don't know. I don't know. Should you have coffee? Yeah. yeah. David's kindness from 2 Samuel chapter 9. The very first king of Israel was King Saul. Oh, yeah. I'm number one. Come on, join me. I'm number one. Uh, I'm number one. But. I he did not obey God. Oh, oh. No, 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 no. Boo. Where did y'all even come from? And nobody asked you. So God picked someone else to be king. David! Yay! 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 David, David is the David, best. David, 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 yes. David, David. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Uh, God had been with Saul. <laughs> Oh, yeah, he has. But now he's with David. Oh, yeah, yeah. God was with David when David fought that giant Goliath. Yes, and God was with David when he won battle after battle after battle. And God was even with David when Saul tried to kill him. Well, okay, I may have some little anger issues. <laughs> Saul finally admitted that David would be the next king. <sighs> Fine. Oh, you guys, God was with David! Yay! I, I do have one small request. Sure. Um, when I die, promise that you won't kill any of my family. I promise. Thanks, man. David was a man after God's own heart. Oh, we love you, we David. love you, we love you. You're the best, oh, David. Oh, yes. King David was an amazing king. <laughs> he was an amazing general who defeated his enemies. Yeah. He was fair and just to God's chosen people. Most importantly, David obeyed God. Oh yeah, ready? One, two, three. Go, Go David! David. <laughs> wow, impressive. It's all God. Uh, one day, David was thinking about King Saul. Tall, handsome, ooh, ooh, big anger problem. Oh, yeah, that's the guy. <clears throat> David also remembered King Saul's son, Jonathan. Jonathan, that guy's like my best friend. Yes. Let's back it up a little bit and check it out. Back before David was king, he and Jonathan had been friends. Jonathan, my man. David, what's going on, dude? Oh. <laughs> Good to see 
see you. You know, has anyone told you, you look just like your dad, King Saul. You know, I get that all the time. But with Saul wanting to kill David and all that, being friends was tough. Yeah, sorry about my dad. Uh, what are you going to do about it? Not your fault, not your fault. Yeah, thanks, man. During one of those last times David and Jonathan saw each other, Jonathan asked David to make him a promise. Ooh, ooh, as long as I live, promise me that you'll continue to show kindness because of God, and when I die, that you'll continue to show kindness to my family. I promise. Ah, thanks, man. <laughs> Sadly, during a battle, Jonathan was killed. <laughs> Let's fast forward to when David was king again. Yes. King David wondered if anyone from Jonathan's family was still alive. Yeah, there has to be someone left. Well, you'd think. Hey, hey, you, come here, come here, come here, come here. David called one of King Saul's old servants and said, I want to show kindness to someone in Saul's family. Is there anyone still alive? Yes, Jonathan's son is still alive. He is lame and cannot walk. His name is Mephibosheth. Uh, I, I fibbed to Seth. No, 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 it's Mephibosheth. I wet my pants. No, it's my, my thing, I go fishing. Oh, I fish with a net. No, 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 yeah, it's yeah. Miss, I see, hey, Beth. Oh, I, I don't have it. No, it's Miss Sh Guys, oh, Sh guys, Sh guys, 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 guys. Mephibosheth. 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 I lost my boots. Me yeah, I lost my boots. I give up. Me too. King David sent for Mephibosheth. Go get him. Yes, my king. Oh, hey, do you want to go get some coffee while we wait? Oh, I love that journey for my life right now. <gasps> <gasps> okay, this was a great idea. Yeah, Every time we're waiting on characters, we, we should make sure I'm to get I'm so glad Tanner got the coffee machine broken. I was breaking the bank going to all those coffee Oh, I was going to quit. I can't do this without coffee. I can't do this without coffee. No, no. Oh, 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 hey, hey, we're back, we're back. <coughs> uh, when Mephibosheth arrived. Uh, he bowed down before David. Freeze! Okay, okay, we're just pausing because oh, yeah. we want you to ponder what must be going through Mephibosheth's mind right now. Oh, he must have been scared to death. Well, yes, I mean, yeah. Okay, David and Jonathan were best friends. But he was also the grandson of King Saul and who tried over and over and over again to kill David. I think exactly. Oh, yeah. Uh, <coughs> hello? Hey, guys, 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 we're still frozen. Oh, oh, we're so sorry. We're sorry, sorry. Okay, okay, okay. I'm freeze! Oh, I know Julia tonight. Uh, Mephibosheth. I, I am your servant. Oh, no, no, don't be afraid. I made a promise to your father, Jonathan. You know, you look a lot like your father, Jonathan. You know, I get that a lot. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, anyway, I made a promise to him, and I'm going to show you kindness because of that. Oh. Seriously? <laughs> yeah, seriously! David was keeping his promises. You, you know, easy there. I'm going to give all the land that originally belonged to your grandfather, King's all back to you. S Seriously? Oh, yeah, seriously. And from now on, you will always eat at my table. Whoa. Seriously? Yeah, seriously. Why, why are you showing such kindness to a dead dog like me? <laughs> Keeping promises, so important. David kept his promises. He gave Saul's land to Mephibosheth. And he had Saul's servants farm the land for Mephibosheth. Exactly. And from that day on, Mephibosheth lived in David's palace. Yes. And he ate all of his meals with King David. Yes, you guys, David treated Mephibosheth like a son. The Today, we saw David keep his promises. Oh, yeah. 
And did you know that God also made promises to David? No. He did. You know what? God promised David that someone in his family would always be king. And that meant that David's son would be the next king, and then his son after that would come next, and then so yeah, on and yeah, so uh, on and so uh, on. But Tracy, the Jewish people don't have a king anymore. Did God break his promise? No, no way. way. You're right. He wasn't just talking about an earthly king. He was talking about Jesus. Jesus. Oh, thank you. You see, Jesus, well, David was his great, 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 grandfather. Jesus was part of King David's family. God kept his promise. And God also promised that his king, that David's kingdom would last forever. And because Jesus was part of David's family, it will. And last but not least, God promised David that his son would build God's very special temple. Did he? Oh, yeah. David's son, King Solomon, is going to build the temple. But... That's another story. For right now, answer this question. Thanks so much for joining us, guys. If you have time, we'd love to have you watch another one of our teaching videos or worship with us with one of our worship videos. We'll see you guys next time. Have a great day. Bye.